Here we are, Paramount Miami World Center. This video is very, very special, and I'm gonna tell you why, because this right behind me, Miami World Center, the project as a whole, is a city within a city. 27 acres, retail, shopping, dining. If you know of Brickell City Center, it's Brickell City Center on steroids. And it's actually the second largest development behind the Hudson Yards in New York. You heard that right. Right here in the heart of Miami. And we're gonna see millions of dollars worth of real estate. And I'm excited to show you, this is gonna be very special. Let's go. Welcome to another penthouse tour. Come in, come in, don't be shy. Take a look, take a look, but don't take too long of a look. Hold up, Felipe, you gotta stop. Can't be showing them too much. Hold on, hold on, hold on, don't get ahead of yourself. Today, we are touring the penthouse at Miami World Center. It's casual Friday because we're in South Florida. It's snowing everywhere else, it's really cold, but here, it's summer, so we can. And today, you can take a look at Miami World Center, Paramount. This building is unreal. Today, I'm gonna show you this penthouse. I'm gonna show you the villas. And then, I'm gonna show you all the amenities this building has to offer. When I say it has everything you can think of, it has everything. Tennis, basketball, soccer, movie theater, every little thing you could think of. Boxing, oh my gosh, I'm boxing Felipe today. Make sure you stay till the end. Oh my God. When you walk in, this is the first thing. That, <laughs> this is the first thing that you see. You're looking out to these floor-to-ceiling windows, overlooking all of Miami. Literally, west views. Like you see everything. You see the Marlins Park. You see Coral Gables. You see everything from up here in your living room. And here you have the kitchen integrated with the living space. So you're conversing. You're talking. You're cooking. And just like in the other penthouse that we did in 321 Ocean Drive, you have your cooktop. And what is it looking? Out to the view. Bam, bam, boom. Look at that. You see, whenever there's a kitchen here overlooking a view, it's gonna turn me into a chef because I don't cook. This will make me wanna cook. And this is Wolf, an induction cooktop as well. That is, there's like some buttons here. Wow, look at that. So that's gonna go Bam, you hear that? Oh my goodness. Oh, we can go high, we can go medium. We can go high, we can go high. And we have liftoff. All right, let's not break it so I don't have to buy it. Cause I want you to buy it. <laughs> so this is your wolf induction cooktop here overlooking the view. All right, then you, of course, you have the cabinetry that's great, it all blends in. It's not a, that's not a drawer. Then the drawers, the other drawers, I kind of like that, it gives it a nice effect. And then you have a mirror over here reflecting, which brings in a lot more light. Sub-Zero wine cooler here, wolf appliances, wolf all the way, wolf is away. That's a double oven as well, which is pretty neat. Your Sub-Zero refrigerator. Can I offer you some Chardonnay? We're not drinking and videography. Although it is Friday, we can't be doing that. <laughs> Off the kitchen, you have your dining room and all of this is integrated into this one space, which is incredible. On this side over here, we have three bedrooms plus the den and then the masters on the other side. Bedroom number one. All these bedrooms are very spacious and they're overlooking the west view all the way out past the Marlins Park, past the end. You see the Everglades from up here. This is insane. And basically every single bedroom has a walk-in closet. It has its own bathroom. And then this here is the den. What's great about this den is that you can sleep. So this den is actually awesome because you can convert it into a bedroom if you wanted to as well. So it could serve as this den for the kids, the kids area, the hangout area for the kids, which is awesome. Or you close that up right there, you put a door, and it does have a bathroom. There's a bathroom right here, which also serves as the guest bathroom. 
All right, so we'll kind of cut through here so you can see what we're, we're talking about. Now over on the other side, we are gonna go see the master bedroom. Split floor plan, and this is the master of masters. It's the master, the best one. Uh, yeah, all right, you get what I'm trying to say. Floor to ceiling windows overlooking the entire city. You can see the bay from all the way over here. You're at an angle, so you see even more of the city skyline. You see Brickell City Center, you see everything. I would just leave these open all day, every day, and let the light come in in the morning. We have a walk-in closet, this you know, little walk-in closet. Here you have one. And then here you have a larger walk-in closet, and it's built out for you already, which is nice. A master bathroom. You have the vanity here, and you have another over there. You have the private toilet over here. And then you have the shower and of course, the tub. Looking out to the city of Miami. I would be right here, maybe not on that side. All day, every day, the water, relax, music, wine, cheese with a view and a really comfortable tub. Wow, oh my gosh. We do have a pretty large terrace right out here to enjoy the view of the city. It's a rainy day in South Florida, but you know what? It's okay. The view's still beautiful. Rain or shine, we're doing these tours for you, okay? No ifs, ands, or buts. You could literally wave at everyone. Like, you see all those condos? Like, hey, neighbor! Today we're getting an inside look at one of four villas only available here in the Paramount. It feels like you're in a house. Different living, you don't really see this often. And honestly, I think we have the exclusive tour of this. I don't think anybody's seen it before. It has three bedrooms, three and a half baths, plus a den, all right? You have this big open space down here, kitchen. As you can tell, it's so brand new that they're not done yet. So don't worry, they'll put top of the line appliances here just for you. Big space, bathroom over there, huge closet. But my favorite thing about this, right out here, a pool, this is your own. So if the five pools that are with the building aren't enough, you have this one here too. Overlooking the city, the little, a little sliver of a water view right there. Where do you see like a house? This feels like a house with a pool, infinity edge pool overlooking just like a skyline. Like, where do you see that? You don't see that. And then you have an area over here, I'm not gonna fall. Look at that, it goes all the way out over there. And this is the beach area, so you can just lounge here, sit down and just enjoy the view. There's only four units like this. Unbelievable. Now we're going upstairs. There is a rooftop terrace with 900 square feet. Come up the stairs, this is the master bedroom. Double doors leading into the bedroom with floor to ceiling windows that get you a bunch of light, literally just overlooking that city view once again. This is the view everybody dreams of waking up to. Huge room, the bathroom with the double vanity, the tub overlooking a view again, and of course your private toilet. This is one of the bedrooms, of the, one of the three up here. And you're overlooking the tennis court. You have two tennis courts right there. So if you wanna you know, watch professionals play tennis, this is not the place to be because these are gonna be amateurs more than likely. So if you wanna watch amateur tennis, this is great. You get front row seats to the show. Oh my gosh, Felipe. Wait till you get a load of this one, man. Oh my God. Wow, holy cow. I would love to live in something like this. Massive rooftop terrace. You see the city of Miami. You see all the, all the way out over there. And then you see the skyline right here. 1000 Museum, 900 Biscayne. This is one of four villas, all right, that are only exclusive to Paramount. Now we gotta go, I'll see you there. Paramount. 
Paramount Miami World Center is literally a world of its own within the city. When I say it, I mean it. This has every single amenity that you could possibly think of. Don't worry, I'm not gonna hit. <laughs> Wait, is it baseball or golf? now here at Paramount World Center. This is the only building that I know that has a boxing ring here so I could, you know, practice my uh, my hitting skills. Jake Paul? What's up, Jake Paul? What's up? That was good. Owner's Lounge. Look at this Owner's Lounge. We're on the 55th floor. On the weekends, there'll be someone at the bar right here serving drinks, getting you prepared for the weekend and have a great time. Owners only, no one else is allowed up here. And you get west views all the way to the end of, you see the Everglades. You see the alligator from over here? As you're moving, you do I up, right? Seating area with a TV over here. Those doors go outside to a massive terrace and then there's stairs that go whoop up to the rooftop pool, which you're gonna see in a second, okay? Look, at, look just look how big this space is. If you want to say hi to people as they come down the elevator, you can do that. You can say, hey, how are you? They come up and down, that's cool. And then more of a seating area over here with another TV, all looking at the west views. This is exclusive club. Now let's go to the next amenity. Now we're on the last floor of the building. Got a little seating area over here. This isn't what's exciting. I'm just showing you this right now because you don't even know what you're about to see right now. Come out to your rooftop pool. This, this is, a, this is a dream up here. This is where I would be every single day. Just take a look at that view right over there. It's overlooking Miami Beach, the MacArthur Causeway, the port, and all of downtown over here. Oh my goodness, my real estate juices are getting all excited up here. This is unbelievable. This is the pool. This is the pool. This isn't just a pool. This is the pool. And the west view is just so nice. My gosh. Hey, you're calling me to sell your house? I'll be answering it from right here, this rooftop. And then I'll go, obviously I'll have to leave when I have to show it and sell your house. But that's a whole different story. This is where I'll be to take the calls. Oh, I 
hope you enjoy the tour. If you did, go down and press that subscribe button because you don't want to miss our future tours. We do tours like these once every single week, and they are at the most insane properties in Miami. If you don't want to miss it, hit the subscribe button. Might as well hit the like button too, and then go down and comment your favorite thing about this property. I'll see you guys in the next tour.